Right, I don't know if it happens the same with the house or just me, but why is it always the way when you're washing duvets, you always get things go in the bottom of the duvet? But it's quite all strange this time, it's even got a twist in it somehow. everyone welcome to our channel welcome to wednesday hope everyone is okay this morning and happy fourth of july to everyone so i wasn't too impressed this morning obviously we've got no internet till tomorrow so of course he couldn't his now tv box couldn't work he was not impressed believe me bit of a tantrum bit of a meltdown but we tried to explain to him look you know you know the line isn't working you know we've got no internet so what we done was set up the um his Kindle and his like the iPad onto mobile hotspot for him. So he was he was happy in that way. We are way 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 over our data. So fingers crossed. Beatty's um, fixed the line for tomorrow. We're class as priority case as well. So hopefully fingers crossed. But I can't wait to leave BT. I really wish Virgin Media would come to Brackley, but they weren't at the minute. Anyway, this morning I'm waiting in for a parcel from Amazon. Ben's run out of nappies. Not getting our delivery till next Friday. Unfortunately, they won't deliver the mail either, so we're having to spend another 50, 60 quid on just two packets of nappies for him, which is just an utter crazy price. So you can see on the floor, this is my mountain of washing I need to sort out today. I'd love to know where the washing comes from, to be honest with you. It seems to be, get rid of it. And there's another part in the bathroom. I know we've changed all of our sheets yesterday, so that's probably some of it. And you see over there, I need to empty the dishwasher, reload that as well. So that is my plan for this morning. So as you can see, Stephen's back home from work. He's just having a bit of lunch, aren't you? Mm. Heading to go to the gym for half an hour. But look up there, the modem's turned blue! Yay! That we've got Steve's internet again now, hopefully. 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 Yeah. What are we do without internet these days, you know what I mean? Mm. What are we do without the internet? What's Mr. Pepper doing down here? What are you doing down here, Pepper Sweetheart? Hey, what's the matter? What are you doing? What are you scratching that? Well, we're just heading off to the gym now, aren't we, for our re programme? Don't feel like it after the morning, are bad. I know, you have a bad morning at work, ain't you? A real bad morning at work. But. This morning, that should not have been like that. All right. As you can see behind me, it's got a bit cloudy and muggy and horrible this afternoon today, isn't it really? Compared yeah. to a few, few days. Clouding up and there's a good six of bits of some Sunday storms. Yeah, the hit and miss showers, unfortunately, but no, no, look. It'll rain when I've got washing out. But anyway. Anyway, the expected major heat that we expected. Can you imagine those storms after that? I know. Can you remember? When was it? 1990-something, wasn't it? When yeah, we I remember, had... 1990. It was a storm that came overnight and it just kept going on and on all night long. Mm, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That, was when, that was when we had 100 degrees, wasn't it? I mean, if yeah. I remember right, was it on an August bank holiday or something? Yeah. Well, yeah. I remember, it was only I, I remember mm. that and it caused loads and loads of damage because of the torrential rain as well, but hopefully it won't get that bad. I was hiding under the covers. <laughs> I know. But... I was just reading something on the internet, and apparently this yeah, it's year... It's snow next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think people will be grateful for that if it snows. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was just on the internet, apparently this year has set world records or something for the hottest temperatures worldwide. Because um, I was reading something about in Canada, it's really hot. They've had about 97 degrees or somewhere. So, yeah, a bit hot. So, hopefully, anyway, hopefully it won't get 100 degrees next week, because just when it got 100 degrees next week, the road will start to melt. The whole country will come to a halt, wouldn't they? <laughs> Anyway, so hopefully we'll enjoy this new programme at the gym and we'll let you know how it got on later. Got that hour and a half is soon gone in the gym. Um, I like my new programme I've got. It's going to give, the instructor I saw, he's going to give me a programme to help with my strength in my arms so I'll be able to help handle a bit, a bit more. And also my lower back, because obviously when we're doing a lot of money handling, it just put pressure on your back. So yeah, so hopefully it'll be good. Um, sadly, Stephen didn't get yours, though, did you? No, because they booked it. <laughs> they booked it twice rather than giving us 
um, two separate appointments. They only gave us one. So Steve was like, okay, because I haven't got an appointment. I haven't got a programme, so to speak. And Stephen had. I've done enough lifting today. Yeah. So Stephen said he's going to rebook himself in for one day next week as well. So anyway, yeah, so it's hard to be. It's half past two already. The kids will be having to stay for an hour, about hour and a half. Yeah. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, seem to have stayed on. Because I know what Sam would be like. It's like it was the way it was this morning when it wasn't on. But yeah, so go go relax a little bit now. Right, I don't know if it happens with everybody else or just me, but why is it always the way when you're washing duvets, you always get things go in the bottom of the duvet? But it's quite all strange this time. It's even got a twist in it somehow. So I have to untwist it if I stick it out on the line. It's just crazy. So there's Stephen chilling out now. He's watching Steve vlogs, aren't you, catching up? So, is it feel nice to have an internet back again now? Mm. Exactly, until it gets off again. I think it did actually, but we can we can ring out, can't we? But people. Yeah, that's nice that is everybody can ring us. <laughs> I know they do, but we told school about mobile. I told them about the problems of line, they've got mobile numbers anyway. So, yeah, so. The boys will be on their way home to school in five minutes. Was <laughs> and um, let's go to Osma. Oh, oh, you're at the hair. Oh, okay. So anyway, it's nice stuff because we can catch up a bit of YouTube now as well. So it's ten past four now. But it's like doing the potatoes for tea. I haven't meal planned this week, though, have I? So I've been naughty this week meal planning. Um, probably next week I. Of a meal plan, we go shopping, but not too quite sure we're going to meal plan. Uh, well, it's ten past four now, but I assume for some potatoes for tea. I'm naughty, I haven't meal planned this week, have I? No. no, I don't know why. This one day's these weeks, I think. I think because we had the barbecue on Saturday anyway. Uh, so, this week we go meal plan. Um, I go shopping, but I don't know if we're going to go shopping Saturday because the boys have got golf on Saturday afternoon, haven't they? Um, but I believe there's an important England game on such, Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Who are they playing? Sweden. They're playing Sweden, are they? So anyway, speaking of England last night, it was so funny seeing Stephen overreacting and getting so carried away during England. It's the first time they've won a penalty shootout ever. Yeah, all right. I can't see where you are. What? Ever. They've won a penalty shootout for the first time ever. But... Who missed the penalty? A Liverpool player missed the penalty. I knew he was going to miss that. Even I knew he was going to miss that. I just, you know, because Jordan Henderson's no good at penalties. He's actually admitted that. Yeah, well, why offered to take one in the first place? Probably because Gareth Southgate told him to. Are they are they um to take penalties or do they not? Well, yes, he has to choose his best five. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess. Yes, he chose him. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, so let's hope they win on Saturday, eh, for you? No, it's only the final. Yeah. Can you imagine if they actually win it? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what this country would be like? <laughs> be like winning the Eurovision Song Contest again, yeah. When was the last time the World War Cup? 1966, 52 years ago, was it, I believe? Yeah. Oh, well. So, as you can see, the boys are home from school. You right, Ben? Yeah? Ben's had a good day, a few ear bang episodes, but again, that could be the heat and stuff, couldn't it? That sort of thing. So, are you right, Sammy? Yeah. You are happy, aren't you? What's the matter? What's on? The Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi. You're eating your biscuit. So now the insects work and you've got Wi-Fi. What was that? What else works? I'm now TV box. You're now TV box, isn't it? That means you quit your now TV tomorrow morning because you wasn't happy this morning, was you? Because your box wasn't working. Yeah. So you can, you can go on the internet now, which is good because... Now the internet's working properly, it'll give our date a break, won't it? Yeah. I dread to think our phone bill's next month. Yeah. You right, Ben? So you happy now we've got proper internet back? Yeah. Yeah? We get internet tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Well, I don't know what Sam would have done going up with you and me when wasn't there internet, you know what I mean? Yeah, we didn't have nothing to do. We didn't have internet, Sam, when we were growing up. It's only since... Oh, when did internet first get invented? Can you remember? Mm -hmm. I did win it. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it's about 95, 94, 95. I'd try to Google him and find out. 
So yeah, so at least we'll have a happy Sammy back. That's the main thing, isn't it, Sammy, eh? Yes. Here you go, Sammy, do something for you, isn't it? There's three things in there. Three things in there, yeah. Uh, oh, look. <laughs> you look. There you go. There you go. What have you asked for? What have you asked for? Portable... Blu-ray. There's DVD player, isn't it? Put that in my bedroom. No, it's not for your bedroom. That's for when we go on holiday. That's when we, then when, then when we go away. You go, got, Ben's got one and now you've got one. You've got one and now it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's DVD. Oh, yeah. This one's for you. That one's for you. Mm. And also we've got, like that, a double duvet set thing. And see has got, we've got, it's that nose trimmer. To get all those little black hairs out of my nose. Two good Amazon's good, isn't it? They did the XA delivery. Yeah. How easy is it? How easy was you to go click, 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 click? Oh, not being nasty. You go up to B and M. You can't find anything like that. No. Yeah, they have all these like horrible like cotton like duvets. Or the polyester oh, things. Right. And at least yeah. that one's hundred percent cotton. That one. Yeah. Well, guys, I you know I don't know where kids will be today without technology and gadgets and you know internet and things like that you know i know i'm talking on something which is technology now to you guys but you know when i was younger and when cheryl was younger what did we have growing up i remember having things like commodore 64 zx spectrum you remember the old zx i remember i did the zx spectrum you remember the spectrum didn't you Remember having the old Spectrum and the old tape deck and shut it down and you used to get that I remember having the GameCube, Nintendo GameCube. Oh Cheryl, that was a bit further on from when you were when you were younger though. Then. I think the Nintendo GameCube came out what? Late nineties? If you guys know when the Nintendo GameCube came out, comment down below. But as I said, when I was younger, we saw the birth of the Nintendo Entertainment System. Mm -hmm. The NES, NES, Super Mario used to keep you happy all the time. Yeah. We used to put the old cartridge in and shut it oh, down, no, and no. when Thank it didn't you. used to work, and you oh, could I blow in the gap. I remember I used to have an old computer. Um, yeah, the computer. Yeah, used to have a dragon computer. I, I had, you know, I had a dragon computer as well. Any guys, any of you guys remember the dragon computer? I remember that. I remember that was my very first computer I had. I remember yeah. that. There's a YouTube yeah. YouTuber on here called the Last Gamer, and he's a total massive gamer he owns every total system and everything he lives in australia so guys if you're into your games and everything go check him out he's called the last gamer and uh he owns the largest games collection in the world apparently wasn't it it was in the guinness book of records, records yeah now his game collection is huge isn't it and just now he's building a massive side extension to his house to accommodate a big arcade room which is which is amazing you know all these old arcade machines you used to see in the local shops I remember playing old Mortal Kombat do you remember Mortal Kombat, mm, I remember Mortal Kombat. <laughs> oh guys it makes you wonder what, what happened to those days because those days were, were good to remember Dad, I got the it's, it's a portable one is it when we go away yeah Sammy's just had a little package from Amazon come tonight containing as you saw he's uh like a portable DVD player we can use when we're away on holiday so we can watch some of his DVDs while we're away and uh, yeah guys um, BT problem today isn't it? Hello. really really I don't know why these companies don't just throw in the effort of upgrading Sammy, all these why, lines why to proper fibre optic lines oh, Virgin Media make everything cable, a lot easier. I wish Virgin Media would cable more areas in the United Kingdom, but it doesn't seem like they're doing any more lately. Because no. <laughs> where I used to live, and that was what way back in the what start of the millennium, 99, 2000, when I first knew Cheryl, she used to come over and uh, play with NTL at the time, as it was known. And she used to love it, didn't you? How fast it was and everything else. I don't else. think how fast it is now. The <laughs> people are watching, if they've got Virgin Media, how fast is Virgin Media putting this line with BT? Because when we upload a vlog, if we upload it through normal, 
um, BT. I remember it took uh, 16 hours to upload a 45 minute vlog, didn't it? Yeah, guys. Every night we're uploading these videos to go live next morning, okay. we're uh, shoving them up using our 4G on our mobile phones, which as soon as you get go, it's like yeah. But you put it up for a BT and you're just, you're just done for about three hours because it just totally wipes yes. out everything. Oops, anyway guys, thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah, another day, another tonight. vlog, another, another one gone. And uh, <laughs> tomorrow, uh, it uh, looks like we're going to be doing a big deep clean on this kitchen. This kitchen is filthy. Yeah, time to give it a good old sprucey roosey. Mm. And uh, yeah. Also, uh, coming up, you tell people what you're reading soon for the channel. What are you reading soon? Do you know what do you say you want to read? Yeah. Was it a squash and a squeeze or the hungry caterpillar? I can't remember. Squash and a squeeze. A squash and a squeeze. So look forward to that soon. Yeah, another Sammy reads is coming up soon because he quite likes enjoying those. Uh, yeah, guys, as always, Facebook growing across the bottom of the screen. Like us, comment down below. Hit the subscribe button and we will see you tomorrow at 7am for Thursday. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Bye.